Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. We're going to put together the Sincerely Santa set in just a few minutes. But first, we've got to go over some specials um, that are going on with Stampin' Up. So from my last video till now, I check my email and all of a sudden we have a beautiful sale with Paper Pumpkin gone in a flash in the United States, and I can only sell in the United States. Um, the kit is $5. Okay, while supplies last, you have to order between October 8th and the 10th. Okay, not yet. Don't order yet. You'll use the code FLASH1018. It's October 8th to the 10th. New customers only. Okay, new customers only. And use that promo code and you will get uh, the Paper Pumpkin Kit for $5. That is a deal. Am I correct? It's not $5 off, is it? Beginning, we are making a limited $5 kits available to new subscribers. The sale ends on October 10th. It's literally, guys, a two-day sale. Okay? It's a two-day sale. If you're thinking about trying paper pumpkin now's the time to do it i was just amazed with that coming up we have as demonstrators a new uh set that is will be available i've already ordered mine i hope to get it by next week but it will be ready for you guys as customers from november 1st to the 30th okay but if you are thinking about being coming a demonstrator and want the greatest bang for your buck with stampin up and have a very nice um discount you do not have to do youtube you don't have to have parties you don't have to do any of that you can be what i call like a crafting demonstrator okay uh, you don't even have to satisfy the three hundred dollars you could just drop off and then jump back on the next day and order another kit and still stay a demonstrator you know for um the hundred and twenty five dollars you still get hundred and twenty five dollars worth of product for ninety nine dollars so you know there's a way to do it to where you don't have to worry about selling anything it's just for you um and this is a fantastic way to start that this is um, Snow is Glistening Stamp Set. Look at this tree. It's all snowflakes. That's going to be fun to play with. Love these sentiments right in here. You can see some of them, okay? These two are designed to use the Stamparatus and stamp like across the page. Uh, this is not the actual size. This is the actual size of the stamp, and it has a little base for the tree. Isn't that adorable? And just the for you. I love the font on the F and the U there. And then here is Happiness Surrounds uh, Stamp Set, and you can order that. Now, you don't have, you can, this is not a bundle, okay? They did not do a bundle. You can order these things separately. Of course, I ordered everything. Um, Here's the Happiness Surrounds stamp set. This is a very versatile stamp set for all year round. These are the actual size. It has this cute little border here. I love Hello Friend. I love that. That's so sweet. Okay, so that's going to be fun. There's Snowflake Trinkets. They are flat, so they're very um, easy to mail, you know, and easy to use on a card. Um, the Snowfall Thinlet Dies right here. These are all bunches of snowflakes guys and this little element right here it's like a vine of snowflakes oh my goodness just fantastic so um, just fun there and then some white velvet sheets and I also got those so that's coming um, then at Stamping in the Valley if you order $25 in product from me these are the two free card kits check out the link below right here it'll say October free card kits and it'll tell you how to get these it's also a tutorial on how to put them together there's also a link below that says Alpine Adventure Bundle um, and this is a kickstart to your bundle this is a special exclusive video that comes to you if you order the Alpine Adventure uh, bundle then I send you these two free card kits plus the other ones you get both sets and um, and then you get an exclusive video for you because you ordered this and it is kind of like one that helps you to use your product and interact with your product and I show you how to get it into the big shot what to you know how to position things and that kind of thing so it's a great tutorial if especially if you're new you can get a little intimidated by a lot of things I still do 
um, when I have like a lot of things to do, I get very intimidated by it. Um, but th that's a good way for me to help you just to start to use the product, okay? And you get two free card kits. All my card kits come with envelopes. Nothing is stamped. That's a rule by Stampin' Up. But let's look at this Sincerely Santa project kit. I love Paper Pumpkin and I love kits because I don't have to think about what to do. I do exactly what the kit says and how it's shown. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Look at that tree. Um, and here are the directions, one at a time. Okay, and we're going to put one of each of these together on camera. But I wanted to show you how this came. And um, I think this is a fantastic kit Again, this is a great kit for a family to do together. Even if you guys wanted to get, you know, a couple of kits and do each one yourself. This makes 30 tags, guys. 30 tags. You get this adorable tin. You have to order it separately. You order this and then you order the stamp set. Let me show this to you. <clears throat> this is on page 32. Okay, right here. There's the stamp set. Sincerely, Santa. In the photopolymer, like I, I received, it is just $16. And then the Sincerely Santa Project Kit, and um, it is $22, okay? Isn't that adorable? Okay, I'm very excited. I love this. I, I looked at this in the catalog. I kind of passed it up. It's one of those that even though it's a full page, you can still pass it up because you're like, uh, what's this and that? But once you start... Once I saw a video, I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. I want to show you the box that it comes in. Okay, it comes in a box like this so that you can go ahead and like cover your address and everything, but you could remail this. This is a fan, you know, it's a nice quality box that you can get to the mailbox. Okay, it, I got, um, or it's not, I got red rubber, the clear stamps. I'm sorry, it's not photopolymer. Um, they are red rubber and they mount on the clear block. Okay. So that's why that's called clear mounted stamps. They're really not the photopolymer. They are, they mount on a, let me get a block, on a clear block. Okay. So, and then here is the little tin. And in here, let's see what we have. We have all the ribbon that you need, nicely packaged. Okay. Oh my goodness. You have your doilies. You have your, I love snowflakes, your snowflakes, and here are all of your tag elements cut and everything for you, okay? Just beautiful right here. Then you have twine, and you have jingle bells, okay? Now, especially if you ladies are doing any kind of workshops, this is something fantastic for you to be like, okay, our workshop's going to be such and such. Add the two together, 22 and 16. Okay, six, seven, eight, it's $28. You know, you might charge, uh, you know, a little bit if you, a little bit more, let's say you do a $35, $40 class, something like that on it, and they go home with all their things put together, okay? This is a very interactive set, and this is wonderful for a workshop, okay? So don't forget that, ladies. If you are uh, doing something through the holidays, something like this would be fantastic for you to add to your business. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to separate everything, show you how we're going to put all of this together. I'm very excited. I can't believe we make 30 tags. I had to get back on here with you guys to show you, I opened the kit to show you guys what all comes in this beautiful kit. I am thrilled with this. This is some beautiful red ribbon. Um, let's see, in the directions... It is real red double stitched ribbon and the garden green cotton ribbon. The cotton ribbon, I'm t this is so soft, guys. It is just what quality product, okay? So I wanted to show you, okay, we get ribbon right here, plenty. We have white twine. We have our jingle bells. <laughs> we have our snowflakes. 
Look at these snowflakes, all cut for you. Well, I'm just going to have a grand time. Look at that, how beautiful. Putting all of this together this afternoon, there's some really great college football on, and I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back on with you when I'm almost done and do the very last ones with you guys. Those snowflakes are beautiful. All of these doilies. Look at all of these doilies. Okay, some gold foil. Here's our tags. Aren't they pretty? Everything is very traditional in garden green and cherry cobbler and, and the gold. And it is just, that's just my favorite, the garden green and the cherry cobbler. Look at these. Here's some more tags. This is another set, you know, of each. Okay, so I guess one, two, three, four, five. We make five sets. This goes on top of this. Okay, and I think it's like something like that. Okay. So, I had to get back on here and show you guys. Here we've got some hollies, okay, and some round discs with gold trim. There's some gold and silver. These are to make banners behind your um, sentiments. And this, these are stitched. These are, you just pop these out, but um, they are stitched around the edge. I love anything that's stitched I love. Then these are, I think this is like a to and the from thing. And here we have some gold stars. And from what I understand, we have plenty of gold stars to add them to almost every project. So I just wanted to quickly get back on here and show you when I took this apart, I said, oh my goodness, I've got to show you guys what all comes in here, how beautiful it is. I love this come up with that water droplet or teardrop type of look there. I love that. And again, I really like traditional colors, the garden green and the cherry cobbler at Christmas time. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's not going to be a minute. It's going to be a while because I'm going to play with this and watch some good college football. And I'll be back when I'm almost done with everything. We'll put one each together on camera. Back in a, in a little bit. Our first tag is the fa -la, la tag. Isn't that adorable? This is so pretty. Just beautiful. The ribbon is gorgeous. Wouldn't you just love to get that on a tag? I love the bells. We've got a little trick to tie the bells on right there for you. Um, and we'll go over that in just a few minutes. This does not take long to put together. Let's get our rectangular piece of Whisper White there, our fa -la, la and some Cherry Cobbler ink. I'm going to ink it up, and right here in the middle, hopefully we're good. There's no room for mistakes with these guys. Okay, it's not like you get extra. So I'll show you why, because one of them I stamped in red. It should have been green from the directions, but it's still going to look great. It's okay. So, but this, so here we go with this. Um, okay, so we're going to move our tag in, and there's the little hole at the top right here. Okay, so I'm going to punch that out. And then what we're going to do is to get our two silver snowflakes. Aren't they beautiful? So pretty. Um, and they're very, very delicate. You're going to turn them over. I'm just taking some snail just on my finger right here, just in the middle. Just apply a little bit right there. And put one up in the corner here, but allowing the hole to show. Okay? Then let's do another, and we're going to go down in this corner right here. Again, just some snail, just like that, and just down in the corner. Now, right here in the middle, apply snail. The directions say about nine inches of the red ribbon. Um, I watched Dawn Stampin' Thoughts. She's a fantastic demonstrator, guys. Um, if you don't subscribe to her channel, do. She's a wonderful person and um, love her ideas. But she did about nine and a half inches, and I like that. So this, you just, you're going to weave it, okay, from the top, loop it over. Just push it into that snail, okay? And then you're going to loop it over again, and we need more snail right here. And we're going to add that, and maybe some even up onto the ribbon. It's okay. And just press this down so that, like, you have two loops, like it zigzags back and forth, okay? 
and then this is so simple um, our fa la la now with these sets like this it's not like paper pumpkin where you get your dimensionals and you get your um, adhesives and stuff you don't get your adhesives and you need a scissor okay so I'm using my dimensionals and we're going to pop this up right on the card I'm going to bring my tag in and put my fa la la right there doesn't that make it look beautiful okay now we're going to do 12 inches of white twine I have something here called a bridge threader okay I'm a dental assistant I don't have a bridge but I can get my hands on these okay um, but you can also use the little tool like if you were a, a needle threader so but that's what this this is so I put the little uh, point right there into the bell okay and then I take my twine and I loop it through this loop right here holding on to it just hold on to it like it's got a short end and, a, and the very long end almost like you're going to sew with one thread then you pull it through and it threads it perfectly around the bell and you're not it's hard to get it in the little hole okay so you do need a little aid there I bring this up and I put my bell to the bottom to make sure that my tails are even just like that and then I'm going to tie this one in a knot like that okay holding it in place once again we're going to take the second bell and if, whether you have the bridge threader or a needle threader I would suggest a little help with this and then just thread it through just like we did holding it let your bell come down and just pull it through it's very simple let's see I'm saying it's very what in the world how did that get all tangled up around there? And my daughter is texting me at the same time. So sorry for the dinging. What happened here? My goodness. Now how in the world? Only me, okay? I promise you guys, only me. Right there, okay. It went around the bell. I am so sorry. <laughs> so let's go ahead and thread that through again. It went around the bottom of the bell and made a loop. Okay, only me on camera. You know, it would never happen if you weren't. But it's good for you guys, I guess, to see. Like, like what in the world? Okay, there we go. Now we have both of them on there. Okay, now tie another knot because you want to secure that bell. Just like that, okay? Then take this and thread it through your tag. For this, you really don't need that threader okay and then everything is nice and secure I just hold my tag free and I just tie a knot just like that so it won't move and we have the jingling okay and then I just bring this up together make a knot at the top just to kind of finish off the twine that's all and then I'm going to clip this so that they're even just like that okay there is our fa la la adorable back in a minute we'll make another one okay here's the next tag and this is the one that the stamp should have been in garden green and I did it in cherry cobbler just because the cherry cobbler was open and I got so excited doing this I just started stamping so <laughs> so we're gonna do this one in garden green so I'm gonna move that in we'll use our little rectangled um, stitched piece right there I'll open my garden green and get the stamp open on December 25th I like to get it right to the top there of my block the red rubber stamps they when they say clear mount it's not that the red rubber is photopolymer they're red rubber but they mount on a clear block okay so I'm going to ink that up and just get this right in the center here again just like that pretty now we're going to bring in let me close this we're going to bring our tag in and work with it for a little bit I want you I will uh, it's not that I want you to but you can to save ribbon work off of the spool okay we have 12 inches again of our twine and this is very simple we're just going to thread it through here 
and just kind of knot it down, okay? Just like that, and I do too, okay? Ooh, can't hold on to it. <laughs> um, and then kind of, I kind of work it to the back on this one, okay? Bring your, your tails together, just like this, and I tied a little knot up here, almost like that this looks like a luggage tag, kind of, at that point, okay? Then I just trim this off to make it even with my snips, okay? And we've got that part done, so that's nice. Now, um, with the ribbon, take some snail and just put it, see where the hole is where you put the twine? Put a little snail there and a little snail down here, okay? I take my ribbon, which is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, the shiny side, oh, the, can you see that? It is so pretty, just really elegant. I put it right here. This does not have to meet, okay? That's why I wanted that knot also to the back because we're going to kind of roll this around. Make sure you have your tag string out, okay? Just like that. And then I come around the bottom right here, holding that down and then putting it in the snail. And then I'm just going to take my snips and cut this right here. Okay, there's no need to put ribbon here. All right, now from there, I'm going to move this ribbon out of the way and we're going to take our doily. And here's another great tip with any doily, cut it in half. You could always make a bigger doily, okay? Now watch what we do here. Right here, take your snail, put some on either side, and then just take your doily and put it on your tag, allowing your lace to hang over. Just like that. These are tips and tricks that you can use with any doilies, any cards, any projects, saving ribbon, making the doily look bigger than what it is. Okay, now we're going to take the gold um, foil and that's going to go right over top right here. See how it hides everything? It just camouflages everything. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Okay, now we're going to take our open on December 25th and I'm going to put our dimensionals on. These kits are just so much fun. I just love doing things like this. Wait till you see when I have them all done. I've got all of my fa-la-las done. They came out so pretty with the silver snowflakes. Now this one with the doily, it's really filling up our tin quickly. On the next one, I'll show you, our, I'll show you the tin. So I'm going to bring this down, and then this goes right over top of all of that, okay? Allowing a little bit of the gold to show on either side. Isn't that beautiful? Then you can tie a bow. You can just freehand it, but I like to use the 10 second bow maker. Again, I save ribbon. I work right off of the um, spool or the amount of ribbon, and I just tie it on here. Um, you could just look it up at uh, 10secondbowmaker.com and order one of these. They're only $10. You can make all kinds of bows. They're, they're not expensive. Look at this. I'm going to show you the waist that I have and it's nothing. I'm just making a little cut right there. That's my waist right there. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let me bring my tag back in and now I'm going to get glue dot. Let me get my tool. I am so, I love this spatula, guys. I love this tool with the spatula is like my favorite. I think once I started using the spatula, I'm like, oh my gosh, where has this been on my entire crafting career? And we put our bow up here. That is perfect. Isn't that adorable? Okay, here are these two. This is in <laughs> a Cherry Cobbler and Garden Green. I think they both look great. I don't think it really matters what color you use. I think they look fantastic. They're so traditional. Back in a minute with another one. 
Okay, let's move on to the one with the tree. I forgot at the beginning of the video, um, I didn't pull the things apart enough, and there is a little tree here. Look how sweet that is. Okay, now let me show you. Here's our tin, okay, and here is what we've done already. I want to make it absolutely clear to you guys on this one right here, when you use this red ribbon, please only use nine inches. Really, you don't need nine and a half or ten. Um, you have to have the rest of this ribbon for this project, okay, for this project right here. And this is just two and a half inches. So please go by the directions and only use nine inches of this red ribbon when you do this. I used a little bit more because I went by another video but um, and I felt like I was about to run out of ribbon here. So that half an inch really makes a difference. I'm just passing that on to you guys. So look at these that we have already made. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful tags with these absolutely gorgeous doilies on here. Look how pretty. Okay, and each one of them I did like a luggage tag kind of um, fastening there or, you know, if you want to stick it on a present um, or you can tie it on, you know, a bow even with that. But look how adorable these came. And it doesn't matter if you use the cherry cobbler or the garden green, you are still going to get a fantastic effect. So let's put these in our tin right here. I'm putting them all in our tin. <gasps> Look how our tin is filling up so nicely with what a beautiful projects. I've already completed all of my Christmas trees. Um, actually, this is now Sunday. I started on Saturday and I watched the LSU football game while I was putting this together. Um, we had a fantastic craft festival in our town this weekend, so I was in and out all weekend with my family going down there. It was so much fun. Great food, great crafts. I don't participate. I'm not participating in a craft show this year. Um, I'm taking a break from that. So um, we want to use this little tag right here and our to and our from and our cherry cobbler. But um, with all of that being said, I'm going to do something here on my YouTube channel um, with the hot cocoa packets. And um, that's coming up soon. So you will want to watch for a video like that. Now with this one, we use this tag right here, and this has the straight gold around it. And again, we have our little hole up there, and we're going to just thread 12 inches of our white twine through there. And we're going to double knot this just to keep it in place. Very simple, just like that. Then bring your tails up and tie your knot at the end. You know, did you ever get a project going and it's like you know you're getting to the end of it and it's kind of like you don't want it to end, you just want to keep doing it? That's this for me. This That is exactly this for me. Right there is the little knot. And I'm just going to trim off right here. My Just let that be even. And that's the only waste you have. <clears throat> okay. But that's exactly what this project... Um, for me uh, has done because I'm almost done. I've just got two more tags to go and I just want to keep making them. Now what you're going to do with a doily with this one, you want three of the little scallops right here of the like the lacy part. So you're just going to cut and it doesn't matter what the top looks like because you're, that's going to um, adhere down with snail. Okay, so watch your gold line down here. Put your snail down, okay, and take your um, little three scallops. I put it right above the gold line so that I have a reference point just like that. I'm now going to take my ribbon, and what you're going to do on either end is fold it, okay, and then cut into it like this, just like that. And it's going to flag that end for you on that ribbon, okay? 
So let's go ahead and do that again on this side. Okay, and we're going to come in. I think I could get that other side a little bit pointier. Let me get my other scissors. I think I need to retire those snips. I have about four or five pairs of them. Yeah, there we go. I got a better see the flag right there. So let's go ahead and flag this end again. Yeah, I think those snips are dull. Just like that. Okay. Now, where you've put your, um, let's move all that out of the way, where you've put your doily down here, you just take your, two, this is two and a half inches, and place it on top of the doily and let it catch that snail that you've already put down, okay? Now, uh, now we're going to use our little stars, our gold stars. I take a big one. I'm going to put the, place that at the top of the tree. I like to put that on first, okay, so I get my star straight. Then I flip it over, and you could either use two or three dimensionals. Because this is a project and is probably going to somebody, I'm going to use three. Yeah, this is something that I was like, wow, I'm having so much fun with this yesterday afternoon. So now we're going to put our tree here. I lined my star up. What I did was I kind of lined my star up with the hole, okay? And now we're going to take our two and our from, and I'm going to place two dimensionals on the back of that. Just like that, okay? And I'm going to place this where the lace is going to show, and you're going to pick up and the base of your tree is going to show also, just like that. Isn't that adorable? These tags are so sweet. Back in the container it goes. I love that. Look at that. It's filling up with beautiful project. Oh, that is so much fun. 30 tags, guys. Back in a minute, we'll do the next one. Now we're going to make this sweet tag. Each one is cuter than the other, okay? In the directions, it shows to put these hollies behind this circle that we're going to stamp. Um, I really wanted the berries on the outside, so I just attached mine to the outside. Okay, but it's the same thing. They, are, they just came out so sweet. And what this is really teaching also is how to layer things. I would have never thought to put a thinner piece of silver on top of the gold there, but that really came out very nice and again we've cut the doily in half okay so this is just so much fun so we'll put these over here and let's make ours we're going to bring in our little circle here that has our gold around it and we're going to use some garden green and this one's from santa stamp into the garden green right there this one's from santa okay and now with that, we're going to take some snail and close this ink. That's all we needed. Let me take some snail and put it on the back of our little berries. I just kind of flick it in my hand like that to put a little on the bottom. And we're going to put a berry there. And a berry here. Just like that at the bottom. Adorable. Let's bring in our tag and our doily. We're going to cut our doily in half. Oh yeah, these snips are a lot better. <laughs> okay. And then on this striped tag, we're going to put some snail. Just like that. Now what I did with the doily is I kind of picked out a line where I wanted it. Okay. And I used that to straighten my doily nicely. Okay. And just leave a little separation. You could leave as much or as little as you want. It doesn't matter. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our little elements here of the gold and the silver. They're already in the kit. You just punch them out. You take the silver. I put a little snail on the middle of the back of it. Okay. 
And now what I did was I found the best thing was to do to line this point up with these points. Okay? And then you've about it, it'll go right on there nice and even, just making a line, just like that. Okay? Flip it over, put a little snail in the middle, bring our tag back in. And now again, do not cover up your the little hole. Place that in the middle, just like that. We're going to take our Santa here and, let's see, find some dimensionals. And here's some dimensionals. We'll use four on this one. So I've kind of thought, um, I've used about, let's just say you need about a sheet of dimensionals, okay? You'll, you'll have some left, but I think a sheet would do it would do this project just fine. And again, I am I'm just kind of sad that I'm finished with it. But it's given me some fantastic ideas of what to do with some DSP, our little pearlized doilies, um, even some scrap of our gold and our silver foil paper that I have laying around here. You know, um, this has given me some fantastic ideas of how to make some other tags or even, honest to goodness, the front of cards. So I just kind of put that right there in the middle. Isn't that a, look how cute that came. I love that. Okay, and then we're going to thread our luggage tag here of twine. Again, it's 12 inches. And right here. And right here, two, okay? And then I just pull it up, tie my knot, and I've and then I just cut here at the ends to make them even. And here we go. Here's our next tag into our box. Let's bring our tin in. Oh my goodness, guys, we are really filling this up. Listen at those jingle bells. I love that. I want these up. I want these up. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to place these behind them. Oh my goodness, look at this tin is full of happiness. Full of happiness. Oh, I love it. Okay, back in a minute, we'll put the last one together. Okay, we're on our last one. I can't believe it. Look how cute these came. These have the gold stars. Now let me show you what's, what I have left of everything that came in the kit. I have some doilies right here. Okay, got a few doilies and that one that's a piece because you almost need like two of these to make that one with the three little scallops. I have some green ribbon. So really, if you run out of red on this, you can use that green, I thought, because that is just beautiful. I have a little twine left. I have some of these little tags left. And I added stars to the other ones, and from what I added, I just have three left of these. So let's put this together, and then we'll look at everything we'll completed. It's so adorable. Okay, first we want to stamp in our garden green, joy to the world, on what I'm calling our... Um, a uh, droplet. Looks like a droplet. So much fun with this set with you guys this weekend. I hope um, if you all are thinking about doing any projects with tags that this might go on your list. Beautiful. Okay, and now, um, well actually we have the three stars left. Thank you. Wow. Okay, we're going to put three stars right here. So we've used all the stars. Wow, I'm kind of lucky I had those three left after all that I added to the other ones. I forgot about this one over here by the camera. I have to be honest about that. Okay, so we've got that done, just like that. We're going to bring in our little droplet here and um, the background. And we're going to tie our 12 inches of twine. The directions and everything come in these kits. They are just so much fun. I, I have to admit, this is just something that um, I really enjoyed putting together. And like I say, I'm kind of sad that I'm done with it because it was just so fast, so easy. Um, just a lot of 
beautiful fun with it and the result is fantastic I think with uh, these Stampin' Up! products that they design like this I think are just fantastic. Let me move some of this out of the way. So we've used all of our stars now and I'll show you how many I put on the other ones to um, use them all up. So right there for that. Now um, what we're going to do is whoops, take a doily mm -hmm. right here. Make sure you've got all the little pieces out of it. Okay, and we're going to cut this in half again. And we're going to lay some snail down on either side. And then almost like you're making two down and two across is what you really need. Okay, and I want my lace to hang over. You can put it in. Okay. You could put it out wherever that you want it. It's okay, but I want mine to really show. So I want it to hang over my, um, that might be a little bit too much. I want it to hang over this element in the back. Just, a, there we go. So you kind of want to see the little dots, the um, silver dots through there, but I just want to let it hang over a little bit. So we'll place this right here and you could place yours wherever you want kind of lining these two up so that it makes your eye go into a continual circle there now um, this ribbon you're going to cut eight inches of this ribbon fold it in half okay watch this what you're going to do to flag this and cut it in half okay then on this end that you've just cut make sure that they're together and angle it up. You see how I'm doing that from the bottom to the top? Okay. Now you want to hold your hold your ribbon together. I flip it over and I go from the bottom to the top. Okay. Because you we're going to make a mirror image and it's going to make it look like it's flagged. Okay, just like that. So you have this going on on either side. Okay. Now with the pieces of a snail that you went crossways with, you're going to take one piece that's angled this way, okay, up, and you're going to put it on that bottom, letting equal amounts hang over, press it into the snail. Then take this piece and mirror it on top of it so that this comes like that, like you flagged, like it's one ribbon that you flagged, okay? And let that meet up and it'll meet up, okay? Just like that. What a great little new technique I've just learned. I'm so happy with that. I'm going to take my joy to the world. You know, that's a lot of things like with these directions from Stampin' Up! You just learn new things. Um, as even as demonstrators, um, you just really learn some new stuff. So I put some dimensionals on the back. Nice technique. I am so happy with this kit. The more I look to my left over here where everything is completed, I'm like, wow, this was just so much fun. And I could constantly walk away from it this weekend. You know, like when my family came and we went down to the Apple Festival, um, I could just leave it and then come back. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty tag. Let's bring these in. Okay, let me get some of this mess out of the way here. And let me bring our tin right here. So pretty. Close this ink. Get these things out of the way. Okay, here we go. Now, this was the joy to the world, and I have the three stars on it. And of course, you could divvy up your stars however you want. This was the one with the Christmas tree, and I put a large star on the to and from, and I got to do that on every single one of them. This is how I used up all the stars. On the this one's from Santa, I used three gold stars on this one, a big, a little, and a little on top, and I got to put them on each one of these. 
Look at the beautiful collection of tags we've got going here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. 30 tags, guys. 30 tags. Now on the open on December 25th, I used three, a large one down here and two smaller ones on the top. And I did not put any on the Fala La because our Fala La has our jingle bells and it's silver, okay? So I used that right there. Eight, four, five. Five beautiful stacks of tags. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to put them in this beautiful tin with the lid. Let's go ahead and do that. I just want to do it with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to just like lay them down like this. And see where we saved with the ribbon, I gotta say this much, where we saved with the ribbon with the green and I used the 10 second bow maker, that's how come we have excess ribbon there of the green. Just like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this tin is full of fun and goodness. Full of fun and goodness. There, wow, that is a tin of tags for sure. Thanks so much for being with me and making our project together. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So happy, the Sincerely Santa. Now you can either give this as a gift like this with all of these tags or you can break this up and give a gift of six tags each, you know, six different ones. I just can't stop playing with this. This is so fun. Let's just lay these out again. I'm just so pleased with this kit. All right. And I have a beautiful stamp set to make more um, tags, to make cards, you know, to, you can embellish this any way you want. You could just use this any way that, look at all of that. I love this. And I have a very nice stamp set. Love this joy to the world. Love the font on that. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button. Order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products and happy crafting.